And the conversation of VAT continues here this morning. Yesterday, the rate of VAT, that's value-added tax, went up by 1%. It now sits at 15%. This increase was announced by previous Minister of Finance, Manuthi Gaba, in his February budget speech and came into effect as planned. The government agency responsible for collecting tax is the South African Revenue Service at SARS, and we are now joined in studio by Narcisio Makwakwa, who is the acting executive responsible for tax relationships management. Now, Cezio, thank you very much for coming in to Morning Live. Thank you for inviting us. Not, a mo not the most popular guy at the, uh, at the playground today, are you? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But talk to us from the perspective of, 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 of why this was needed to be done. Well, uh, I think there were quite a few announcements that were made uh, in terms of the economic imperatives, the fees, uh, money needed to pay for the fees and all those other things. But I must say from a, an administrative point of view, we at the South African Revenue Services, we we not responsible for making that kind of decision. We are responsible for collecting the taxes, but the National Treasury and the South African government are responsible for making the decisions based on certain economic imperatives and, and fundamentals. Ours is just to go out there and collect yeah. as required by the, by, by the law. Yeah. So Talk to us about what you were doing in the lead up to yesterday because it, it must have been a very big task to try and get to that increase and ensure that everything went off smoothly. Yeah. The, 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 one of the things that we needed to do was to make sure that we have our systems ready. So there are quite a number of variables involved. Firstly, if we buy goods uh, uh, from the retailers, we just have to tell them that, you know, you guys must be ready from the 1st of April, yeah. communicate the message effectively, and now they're going to interact with us. And then there is those who import goods. Uh, VAT is going to be 15% on imports coming via customs. Customs is a SAS responsibility, so we have to be ready on that. Uh, those who import goods or other goods via the post office, also 15% uh, comes in. But what is important, very much important, is the businesses, the local businesses that are impacted because there is a transition that has to happen between 14 and 15 percent. So at the end of a particular month, we will be requesting them to submit these returns that include the 14 and 15 percent in just one form. But that is something that we're communicating with the businesses to be ready with. We have issued a communication with them. We have put the letters on our website to communicate to them as to how they need to go about uh, being ready. But we're ready. Our forms are ready. Our systems are ready. And, and hence, we say we started yesterday. But what is encouraging also is, uh, for example, I was one, in one of the big retailers yesterday. What is encouraging is they are coming to the party. They have been communicating with the end consumers that please remember that the price that you see on the shelf might not be the price that you pay when you get to the till point because there is a vet rate increase. So just be aware of that. Yeah. And that is because we had to, to, to give guidance to the businesses that we are aware that you might not be able to change all your prices in one go. Indeed. But as long as you communicate with the end Because it literally would have been the close of business on Saturday and then the opening of business on Monday, or, well, Sunday, actually. I mean, if you, if you did open on Easter, uh, that was yesterday, that everything needed to be changed. But, you know, on the shelves, I think it would probably be a very different price. And I know that's a big concern, but that's something that you know, retailers will sort out and everyone else. I know I've received... So many SMSs I can't keep up from every service provider that I have that please be aware everything's going up, that is being increased, blah, blah, blah. So just remind us, what is the difference between VAT um, and indirect tax and income tax and how SARS actually treats these different taxes? Yeah, w without sounding complicated, the indirect tax is a tax that is collected by a third party. So... Um, we rely, for VAT in this particular case, we rely on the businesses to collect the VAT that you pay as the end consumer and they pay it over to SAS. So we don't interact with you as the end. You, we don't collect the VAT directly from you. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the direct taxes, what it means is from your salary, as an example, you, the, there's income tax that you pay directly, that you collect directly from you, although we're using your employer, but you have to submit your return at the end of the month where you do your reconciliation and if you owe us any money 
uh, you pay. If we owe you any money, we give you a refund. So that's a fundamental difference. But there is no direct link between the direct tax and the indirect taxes per se. So VAT has no direct link with the pays you earn, as an example. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if, if people visit your SARS website, are they able to get a lot more information from There you? is a lot more information on our website. And more especially for businesses, we, we have made a dedicated uh, inquiries uh, uh, mailbox, vet rate inquiries at sars.gov.za. You can go there and ask any question. There are people who are sitting to give you any answer that you need on any kind of. So if you have any complication with the interpretation, you go there, you will find all the information on the website. Yeah. My special, like I'm saying, with the letters we've issued to the businesses, we've also posted them on our website so they can see exactly what they need to do when it comes to complying at the end of the month. So that's the, that website is sars.org.za, is it correct? Uh, sars.gov.za. Dot gov, I beg your pardon, dot gov dot za. So go and visit that website. You'll be able to get all of the information that you can. Just one final closing note, and I know that you're not the man that carries out anything. You don't make the decisions. You take the decision and you implement it. But from, from what you've seen in your history and working in taxes and SARS, once this happens... The chances of reversing this, I don't imagine they're very high. I mean, you've got unions that are wanting to go on strike, people that are calling for this to, to be reversed. The probability of this actually being reversed, what would you say? Uh, I think the probability might just be a bit low. Because, I mean, uh, from what we've had, we're running short of cash in the country. Yeah. Uh, the budget deficit that the minister has spoken about. So, and, and we have increased the income taxes to a level where you cannot increase it to more than 45%. Mm. So really, I think the only way that we will be able to do this was only the only latitude that we had was as the government was to increase the VAT. Because I can't imagine that you will agree that your tax now has to be increased to 50% of your earnings. So, um, of course, it's, it's, it's a tough one, but it's a tough one that the government has to make in order to be able to to fund all the other development infrastructure needs that we have. Yeah. It's a tough one, but we have to do it. Including, as you mentioned before we went on air, the free education issue, the tertiary education, and that has to be paid by someone. And uh, this, is, this is one of the mechanisms in order to do it. Uh, there you go. Just a little bit of information for you from SARS. Now, Cesio Makwakwa, he is the acting group executive of the uh, South African Revenue Services, so responsible for tax relationship management, telling us how the agency has prepped for this additional income from the increase in VAT. Let's take a break, and uh, after this, Superior brings us our sports news. Do stay tuned.